Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to convert 57 points 625 to a floating point in simple precision. First of all, we have to find the sine wave. In our case, 57.625 is 0 because this example is given positive. Next, we have to find the binary expression. So we have to convert from decimal to binary. Here, let's find the left hand side of our example. So 57. We have converted to binary and now let's convert the right hand side. So 625 is the binary conversion. So let's see what we have done so far. We have converted 57.625 to binary. So from decimal to binary. Next, let's find the canonical representation. So here we take this point and move to the left for five positions. So let's do it. Take this point and move one position, two, three, four, five. And here we put our point. So this point is after the first digit. Let's copy it. So and multiply it by two at the power. Five. Well, this five is the, our exponent. This is our mantissa. This is hidden bit. And now we have to build a structure of floating point in similar precision. So let's do it. This is the sine bit which carries one bit. This is the characteristic which carries eight bits. This is the mantissa. Twenty three bits. Now we know our sine bit is 0 because it's positive. We know our mantissa here is 8, so let's copy it. And we fill it with 0 till 23 bits. And now we have to find the characteristic. So in order to find the characteristic, we have to add exponent plus 127. So 127 is the correction factor for a single precision. So exponent is 5, 5 plus 127 equal 132 in decimal. So let's copy, I mean, let's convert it to binary. So this is our characteristic and let's copy it here. Now we have to find the hex representation so in order to find the hex we have to group it by four so one bit two three four bits so and continue it okay so this is our hex representation so four two six is eight zero 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 in hex that's it and that is our solution